I wasn't really physically hurting, but I knew I needed to do something about it. We first noticed the bump on the neck in August 2018, and then subsequently had it checked out. When you're fighting something like this, you need to be a team. And we were all trying to be there for him, to support him and love him and just be there. Michael is so full of energy and took his lymphoma on with the best attitude and a supportive family. He had an aggressive disease to start and got high dose chemotherapy and unfortunately experienced an early relapse. You think this whole experience is behind you and now here we are dealing with it again. I don't know who was happier when he got randomized to the CAR T arm. The whole research group just screamed with excitement. Couldn't decide who got to call him with the good news. Very much a team experience bringing him through it. The CAR T cell therapy process was fascinating to me. Just the notion of taking your own blood out, engineering it to make them little cancer killer cells, and re-transfusing them back into you to let them do their work. Just phenomenal, amazing, really cool. There was a scan fairly soon after, and they said, it was amazing the difference from pre-CAR T-cell scan. And then it just kept getting better. Going through something like this, you appreciate your family, the time that we get to spend with each other, and how precious normal life is. I see him go out for his bicycle rides, and I think, wow, <laughs> he's back to normal in a lot of ways. After what I've been through, this idea of faith, friends, family, physical health, all these things are important for anybody. It puts you in a better position to deal with whatever may come.